Hi there, Dr. Gary here on the road. We sell dental practices nationwide. Today's topic is most landlords don't care about the buyer or seller. Let's get into what happened. As you know, we've now been doing this 28 years, dental practice brokerage. I was a dentist for 25 years, doing this for 13 years. We have 10 employees, including two CPA accountants. And we're available for you for 363 days a year. We take off Christmas and Easter. And, uh, excuse me, um, our phone number, and we work every day except Christmas and Easter. We're available from 8 a.m. till 9 p.m. So just call us. We'll be more than happy to help you with anything at all that you need. So if you're, yeah, excuse me, if you're um, thinking about selling to a DSO, please let us know because uh, we work with them all the time. We're independent. We are not on their payroll, but often they will pay our commission. So there'll be no commission to the seller and uh, in addition, when you work with us, often, based on criteria, we can get your legal fees reimbursed upon successful closing. So just give us a call and we'll uh, we'll talk to you about that. All right. Now, all the information you're about to hear is for uh, not for legal or business advice. It's for entertainment. Our phone number is 201-663-0935. And the website is dentalpracticeguide.com or Dental Practice Broker, nationwide dentalpracticebrokers.com. So just give us a call. We'll be happy to talk to you. Now, in today's discussion, we're going to talk about these landlords. And all due respect for landlords, some of them are having a hard time because there's a vacancy in their office because everybody's working at home. So they have office space, vacancy. New York is very high. I think San Francisco is 29, 30%. New York is approaching 40%. People just don't have to come in. So landlords, I sympathize with them. You know, they can have a problem in their building with cash flow because they don't have enough tenants. However, uh, there's other landlords that just don't care about the buyer or seller. Don't care. As long as they have a tenant on the hook, and there's a more than six months left on the lease, they don't care. They do not care about what new buyer may be coming in that's gonna sign a lease for 20 years. All they care about is their rent is paid every week and they have uh, no complaints from the, or every month, no complaints from the buyer, from the seller that existing there, the apprentice and tenants. Besides that, they don't wanna know anything. They will not negotiate sometimes. They don't care. And you've got to understand this as a buyer or seller. Sometimes they simply don't care and are not looking in your favor, even though you're going to give them a 20-year lease. We have a situation now where the landlord is going up on the lease about uh, 15 18% on the lease. Now, with dental office, you just can't pick up and go and move it. You know, you need another facility like you have or build another one. And those facilities, as you know, are expensive, three to 500,000. So a lot of landlords won't care. And it comes to negotiation because they have a tenant, that is the seller, on the hook for a few years anyway. It's usually at least a few years. They have them on the hook, which means they know they're good for the rent. If the, if the seller balks or whatever, they're responsible uh, privately also, excuse me. That is a lot of the sellers or the present dental clients have signed personally. So the landlord could just go after them. And the dentist doesn't want that happening. But often when a buyer comes in and negotiates, the, sell, the landlord's not that motivated to do something. And that they just don't care. They have a tenant on the hook. They don't care. So you've got to be aware of that. All right. When you're negotiating, your attorney knows it. So you've got to come in and sometimes do some great negotiations or change the terms around a little bit so it's in your favor. But be aware of landlords. All right, thank you.